Welcome back, world, to the Verbal Intercourse Podcast. Got your host, Nick Walker, back in the building with you today. Shout out to everybody who's been listening, supporting the podcast. Hey, really appreciative for hanging out with Verbal Intercourse. So, yeah, man, today got a special guest in the building all the way from Nashville, but actually he from Jackson, Mississippi, from the north side. Shout out to Manuel Strong. He got a business that's out here, Man You Strong. If you've been checking him out, he got some dope-ass merch. So, yeah, go cop that. Today we're going to be talking about it. We're going to be talking about a lot of things. So, first off, how you doing? Good, brother. How good, about you? Good to see you, dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> man, you walked up in the crib about 6'5", dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm 6'6", on a, on a good day. On a good day, man. Yeah. Man, it's crazy, bro. Like, I remember... Way back when we was in school and shit, bro. Some most of the times used to be like the tallest nigga on the court. Right. <laughs> shit. This tall, skinny guy. Yeah, yeah. You Lift. you played at Provine, huh? Yeah. Provine. Yeah. I um actually I started playing ball at Blackburn. Yeah. My uh seventh grade year. Uh, you know, those summer growth spurts. I came yeah. back in eighth grade and I played and then uh I was in Jim Hill District. But somehow I was at Pro <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. yeah so that's a whole other story. But yeah, man, <sighs> it was fun. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was. You know, back then we didn't think those times would kind of never end. Oh, uh, <laughs> like yeah. Now you look at it, you're like man. Yeah. Like we was like giants back then. Real now, tough. Now, now you look at these kids. Like man. What? Yeah, they eating that steroid chicken, man. These kids. <laughs> Man, these kids be six, 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 seven, thirteen years old, dog. It's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, man, let's let's get right on into it, man. You got a clothing line, man. You strong, man. So so how did that come about? When did it start? And you know, I cop some merch from you. I really love your material and 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 I love that hoodie, dog. I don't wear that hoodie like <laughs> a bunch of times, bro. Especially yeah. during Jackson State football season. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it all came about, man. Well, you know, like that. The immersion that you got, that's me still, you know, trying to get into it, trying mm-hmm. to, you know, uh, oh yeah, I'm from, I'm from I'm from the west side. West side. Oh shit, you sure is from the west side. West my side. fault, my fault, <laughs> my fault. Hey, 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 can't get them all right. <laughs> hey, north side, the best side, baby. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm still learning, man. Uh, just copping blanks and stuff. But now I got a manufacturer uh, overseas now, so yeah. It's really fun to get get popping now, but uh, yeah, it all came about. Uh, like I'll tell you before, it's a funny story. Uh, you know, Anthony. Yeah. Anthony Howell. Shout out, shout out to Ant. Yeah, yeah. Ant Lee Howell. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we was uh, sitting around one day, man, just joking, and uh, you know his last name Howley. Yeah. So uh, he was always just just to mess with me. So I was like, man, you strong, you know. <laughs> so uh, I was like, Aunt, how you let that happen, you know? So he was just joking back and forth, and then he stuck with me. So I was like, man. So uh, I went to Tennessee, uh, met a guy, and I said, man, can you make me a logo? Mm. Like, I want the logo to say, man, you strong, inside of an arm. Yeah. And I didn't know how it, it was gonna turn out. You uh, know, you know, we was just joking around one day, and uh, he he bought it back. And bam, you know, like yeah, like like it's just it was like unique and it was catchy. Yeah, so I just ran with it. I was just making stuff for me and my kids. Uh huh. So that's pretty much what I did with the whole thing. I I want them to you know when they come up, I want them to you know come up in see, I don't know, elementary, yeah, middle school, middle, you know, what I'm saying high school. Like oh, I was just, man, my dad made this for me. Yeah, yeah. Even, even if I'm here or not, you know, so. Yeah, that's real, dog. I think I think you know you brought up how I feel like that's very important. That representation. Yeah. A lot of the times, you know, we didn't have that all the time growing up. Uh-huh. You know, we might have we might have had parents and good parents or whatever, but I feel like a lot of parents in our generation they didn't let us take risks. Right. You know, like take risks, experiment, see what we like to do, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I think it's very important for the kids that we raising. To, to be able to see some their parents create some, create a brand, create a business, right. because a lot of parents don't have that opportunity. Right, yeah, yeah, especially especially back then, you know, it was just yeah. all about that, you know. Nine to five. Yeah, right. Yeah. Dad, dad go to work, mama go to work, or dad go to work, mama stay home. And it was just different. So this era is, like, way different. I don't, like, it's, it's kind of <laughs> scary. Yeah. You know, especially after the uh, pandemic. Yeah. I started – 
Um, well, really, I, I was just making it just for us. And then people were like, man, I, I liked it. So I was like, man, you know what? For my birthday in 2021, but 2020 going to 2021, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, make this to a business. Yeah. And um, got in contact with the state, made them an LLC, got them a logo trademark. And, uh, and by the way, it's real easy. I know a lot, a lot of people out here speculating about what they want to do. If they, you know, lashes, nails, hair, man, do it. Yeah. You know, just get in contact with the state. Mm-hmm. Get that LLC, yeah, get like, that paperwork. Yeah, yeah, like it's not even expensive. Nah, it's not. Imp- it, it's not expensive at all. It's, it's just, just it's just it, the small stuff. Like far as you know, what I'm saying uh, address, pill boxes, uh, just like paperwork. It's just simple, man. But you know, what I'm saying, but us looking from the outside in, we're like, man, they must got a lot of money. No, you don't have to. I don't have a lot of money. Yeah, like you just don't. You just gotta believe in something and uh, like leave some. Like we gotta leave some. I don't yeah. care if it's just you gotta leave something. For real. Yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta leave something for your kids, you know, and, and you a family man, you know what I'm saying? You married with kids and stuff like that. And then you was married you was married young in comparison to everybody else. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so talk to me a little bit about how important support from your spouse is when you starting a business venture like that. It's very important, man. It's um they're not gonna get it. They're not gonna get it at first. No, no, no. <laughs> Especially if you got kids. If 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 you don't have kids, you know, financially you straight. You mm-hmm. just gotta know where to put it. Mm-hmm. Like you 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 gotta plan it out. You gotta sit down. You gotta talk about it. It's it's tough. Yeah. We want all this stuff. You know, we gonna you know have this, have that. Um, it's just a point in my life just clicked. Yeah. And that you like, got to jump off the bridge. Yeah, like, well, not literally, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Just, well, you gotta, jump gotta, off the bridge <laughs> is like suicide. Jump off the porch is a better, <laughs> right. Right. that's right. a better right. analogy, America. Right. 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 So, um, yeah, you just, um, you got to have a plan. And uh, like, it's very important. She, she supports me. Uh, she might not want to hear what I got to say, you know, because mm-hmm. she was like, man, you know what I'm saying? You're talking. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I just uh, let her know what's up, and we, you know, bang heads every once in a while. That's a relationship. Mm-hmm. And, um, she believe in it, and uh, it's just it's tough at times when you gotta, you know, delegate, you know, money with daycare and yeah, groceries, adult shit, right? Yeah, stuff that <laughs> we, you know, what I'm saying we didn't we didn't know we wanted to be so grown, but uh, yeah, it's. It's a beautiful ride, man. But as long as you got somebody in, in your corner that's, uh, you know, keep you level headed and you keep them level headed, then you just got to go for it. It's not going to be perfect. For sure. For sure. It's not going to be perfect, but you just got to just, just, just deal with it. Hey, y'all hear that advice? Well, well, <laughs> that, that message out there, I, I, I need to put my shit on my uh, roadcaster so I could have just said, message, <laughs> right. it ain't going to be perfect. <laughs> keep grinding, stay together, work through the shit. Right. Every relationship, every marriage takes work, period. It's, it's definitely, definitely a, another job mm-hmm. on side of a being a, you know, husband, got to be a parent, a mentor, a role model. Mm-hmm. Man, it's, you know, this and this goes on, but you know what I'm saying? That's what you want. Yeah. It kind of like no mows you. Yeah, yeah. It's the... I would say that's the ultimate job. And so, you know, in relation to your business or whatever, how much time does it take to develop merch to to get get the people to manufacture it, to kind of get everything in order so that you can put out, like, a, a drop, a line or whatever? Okay, well, yeah, well, well, that's why I, um, I'm coming out with my first drop. I've had some stuff that I made, you know, mm-hmm. uh, but you're going to drop a full drop. Yeah, it's like, it, you know what I'm saying, exclusive. Like, you know, uh, it 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 takes detail. Um, shout out to some of the people in the city, uh, Dirty Hearts. Okay, yeah. Uh, Mr. Public Figure. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, those, those, those two guys I've been, uh, you know, supportive of. I haven't had a chance to go by Dirty Hearts, but I, I need to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I've been just, you know, chatting with them. I grew up. Not 
with them, but around them. Mm-hmm. We were both of them from the west. West uh, side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get it straight. <laughs> Best side, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I've been watching them cats, man, and uh, just learning, trying to juggle work, and that, and my kids, and wife, you know, just life stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got a, a official drop coming out soon. Uh, this suit that I have on, I'm going to have this in a couple colors. Uh, I got some more stuff coming out, man. Um, it's when you find that right manufacturer, then you good. It's like the Willy Wonka. Like that Real gold. top. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you can always go out here and get blanks and, you know, that's how to start. You got to you gotta emulate the process. Real. I didn't have months. Uh, I just got my website. I didn't have months, uh, man, with no sales. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you can't give up. Mm-hmm. Can't give up. That's why you got to get out here. You got to, you know what I'm saying, connect with my guy right here. Right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nick Walker. Yeah. Verbal, uh, and, of course, you got to, you know, get out there, uh, pass our business cards, man. And, uh, yeah. Because social media is free advertisement. Yeah. Um, and it works to an extent. You know what I'm saying? You got your ads that, 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 that you can buy, but you just got to have a plan. You just got to. Have a legit plan. Yeah, don't just think that you from the. Blow post, the fuck up after buying it ad. Yeah. Post post something and they go sleeping. Oh, I'm viral. <laughs> do not do not <laughs> let that fool you. Um, I I, I wasn't ever about that no way, but it's just you got to emulate the process of now. Excuse me, just uh, getting the idea, believing in it, and just uh, going for it. But yeah, I got a got a drop coming out soon. It's probably like two more weeks. Two more weeks. Okay. Uh, Connected with some guys overseas, so you know I've been buying samples for months. Yeah, I spent damn near a whole year buying samples. Yeah, samples are more than the actual product, but you know, so that's how they do their stuff. And when they make it one piece, they got to upcharge you. So, mm. um, for the guys that know, they know. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's coming, man. Oh, uh, got some nice stuff coming. Hope everybody jump on it and just support, support. I don't care if you repost. Just like you were saying, like yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care if you repost it. I don't care if you tag me in something or uh, share it. Something, yeah. Like Comment it's, is it's, it's free. Fact facts. Um, but I'm gonna do my part on the back end. Like you gonna man, you for see me doing some crazy, not crazy stuff. But you was like, man, what's wrong with that man? <laughs> what uh, you mean? You gonna be posting every day? Sharing all day, you'll see. No, yeah. no, 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 I ain't gonna even be doing that, but yeah. it's gonna be some like man, man, different, yeah, but yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I got, I got a lot of stuff in, in uh, playing, man. Just you know, just <clears throat> I want to come out with it so much, but you know, I gotta check in first, mm-hmm. gotta make sure my kids got clothes on their back, facts, food in the fridge, you know, they can go in there and cut on the lights, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, know, that first, and my wife can go out there and push a button. On a car or a turn a key, <laughs> whatever. So, so she can get to work. So it's just so much, man. That, that's why I, you know, I look at other people and I'm like, man, I wish, you know, so I could do it. But I had to step away from that. Like, I can't do that. Yeah. Because everybody's different. Yeah. Um, it's just the process. Yeah. It's definitely a, you know, everybody lane different. Everybody race different. I, I always look at life like that. You know, if I was to, if I was to look at, another podcaster and be like, man, like I know I'm a better podcaster than right, him. Right, right. You know, just like we grew up hooping, yeah. you know, you seen, you seen niggas that might not have been as good as you right. get like a D one scholarship. You'd be like the fuck, but right. that ain't your lane. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all got to run our own race. And I think that's very important that you said uh, about what support should look like when you, when you going out there and you taking a risk on an endeavor that you got, passion for right you know what i'm saying like share like comment post it you know these things are free you know and if you if you fuck with me you know what i'm saying yeah. you will do it now granted if my shit trash right. tell me my shit trash right, right. <laughs> so like you, was, that's what i had to look back i wouldn't i wouldn't say you know trash but like when i was going through i was i would get hella views mm-hmm. on my website i'm talking about numbers just like that I had 300 people on the weekend looking at my, but I knew I was doing the work. Yeah. I knew I was going out there. Hey man, check out my website. I was wearing a shirt with my, you know, so I was a walking, walking, walking billboard, you know what I'm saying? Hey, check out my website. But 
60 people go to the register, but don't check out. You know, like I can see these things and I was getting discouraged. I was like, man, you know what? And then you only had it for a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, so there's you no know saying. So I would have to, I had to talk to myself. And it, it's okay to talk to yourself. Just don't answer. Yeah. But you talk to yourself. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was just like, man, what am I doing? So I had to just say, okay. I said, all right. So I've been buying samples, buying samples. And I finally met this one manufacturer. And I said, all right. Yeah. That's the like, one you run the road with. Let's go. And, and, how important, because I've sold merch, I've sold T-shirts, I've sold shorts, and I'm going to bring back out some merch and stuff like that. And it was very important because the first time I bought merch, I had a quality of T-shirt, and then I didn't really like that one. But yeah. then I found one that I really liked. That's the process. Yeah, and that's the process. So the process. how important is it that you find that right manufacturer when you develop in merch? Because... I feel like, I felt like I was confident as hell when I put it out. <laughs> right. When I li- I was like, oh yeah, I like how this feel. Right. Is that how you kind of feel? Like, I'm, oh yeah, because yeah. I'm like, man, this shit dope. Like, bro, I got my name in my. You know what I'm saying like, yeah, not being caught by like, man, this shit is crazy. Yeah, but I had to, you know, do a venture with the cassette. That was my. That oh shit my. fire. I need I need that. <laughs> it's crazy. Like you gotta just be like, when people create, it's crazy. Like I. Like, I listen to Drake. Yeah. And that's the main artist I listen to. And it's just the words he say. And I flip them, and I'm like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. So he said something one day about a cassette. And I was like, hey, what if I can take the cassette and take the tape out and just have my name? And then that's how it came out. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's going to be there rare time. You won't, you're not going to come up with this overnight. Mm-hmm. It's going to be just that one time you hear a lyric. you like, you you like music? Yeah. You can listen to... We Surround It. Right. <laughs> so you can go back. And uh, I actually got another idea that I'm going to put out. Just by listening to... Uh, I forgot who I was listening to. But, uh, yeah, I'm in the works now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got, like, three new logos. Yeah. And uh, just, just just by listening to music. And that's how I... That's how I uh, feed. So, uh, so music is your ultimate influence when you creating ideas for music yeah. because I feel like music is my ultimate influence when it comes to how I dress, how I look, podcasting, right, right. Um, you know, even me getting a roadcaster or uh, verbal intercourse is one of my favorite Wu-Tang songs and stuff like that. Everything yeah. about yeah. me is like cultivated in music, basketball, hip hop, all yeah. that type of stuff. So I definitely feel what you're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just gotta jot it down and just get you a, a, a graphic designer. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Quincy, man. Oh, soul model. That's my guy. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He uh, helped me out a whole lot, man. My bad. I forgot about Quincy. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, I hit him up, man, and you know he helped me out with, with this little app that we uh, use to create our logo. But he do most of the work. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Take. I just, I just shoot him with an idea. He just like, I right, bet. You know. But shit, that's where the growth come from, though. Yeah. Because, you know, I feel like with me creating the podcast, you know, shout out to Jay Red. He he was producing everything. He was recording everything. And then he started easing back. I started recording everything, yeah. uh, even to the point that I'm recording this visually and through a roadcast audio. I'm, I'm doing levels. I'm doing mic checks. Right. You know, I'm setting up lights and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think the growth will come with you is to, like, start – you know, you already got the idea. Yeah. You just got to get the the shit to design, right. and because then you know you cutting out some money that you got to spend right. designing, right? Because because a lot of times, you know, what I'm saying I would I would watch shit like uh, the assassination of Gianni Versace or even that even that new Gucci movie and shit like that. They don't really just be like no no. Uh, Bosky eye with the yeah, pen yeah, yeah, yeah. when they create some shit. Yeah. But they got the idea and then people execute the idea. Right. And they just jot it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the growth. That's that's the next level for you, bro. I mean that's 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 the whole team. You gotta have people, um people that's uh <clears throat> willing to just to, to just vibe off you, bro, and just help without, you know, trying to vouch. I, you know, mm-hmm. you got, you got a lot of that out here. Uh, I didn't reach out to plenty of people, and um, 
you know, he just wanted the love. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, I wouldn't, ah, you know, bash him. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, you know yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I just, you know, use that for fear. Yeah. You know, like I said, uh, been, you know, saying, checking out a whole lot of stuff, man. But it's, it's really important to find that merchandise because, you know, just like me, man, husband, you know what I'm saying, father. Mm-hmm. I ain't, I don't have time to just, when I get out of work, just, all right, kids, go over there and play. Let me just do this now. So I, I have to, you know, balance, balance, balance your life. It. And mm-hmm. then it by, you know, meeting, meeting the people to make the stuff for you, you can do the inside tags, the hang tag, you know, say coming to you just like you go to the store and just buy something. Mm-hmm. And it's damn near the same price as what you would pay. Mm. You know, so it's, it's, um, uh, finding that one, you know, saying you're going to probably lose some money. You're going to, you know, but you just gotta, you just, you just gotta, just try it out. And once you find that one, you just go. And I did. And now, you know, what I'm saying stuff, like, stuff that's about to come out. You know, I got confidence in it. That's dope. That's dope. One thing I will say, when I was selling merch, I felt like I didn't have all my numbers in order as far as because I was just winging it. You know, yeah. I'm just winging it. So when you do this drop. Do you will you have like all your numbers and stuff like business wise? Like, okay, I sold this, I made this amount of profit. Yeah, my this is this is you know here for the taxes and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, you got all that in order? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, now I do, uh, you know, because for state to state is different. Real uh, here's the thing is state tax, Tennessee is no state tax. Well, it's no state tax that you, you know, what I'm saying record. Okay, uh, it's different stuff with LLCs. I, Advise people to uh, don't listen to me. Do your own research. You got <laughs> LLC. You got all the type of stuff. Just go on your state website. Check it out. I'm not a tax expert. Uh, <laughs> I don't think none of us are. Right. <laughs> just be like, you look at the number. Yeah. Like, <laughs> look at this. As long as it's not negative. You know, <laughs> as long as I don't end up in the feds. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I had it set up now. Uh, just to give a little, you know, advice. Um, Get your LLC, man. Uh, after that, I advise you to uh, you know, get your EIN number. Yeah. Uh, then go to a bank that you prefer. Get you a business account, and um, just go for it, man. You he, you gonna fail? Mm-hmm. You know, like the uh, stuff that I was making. I got stuff sitting in my totes in my garage. Uh, matter of fact, I just met up with with my nephew. Shout out to Michael. He just signed a contract. He plays uh, arena football. He's gonna be in Albany, New York, this year. Okay. No, man, I've been giving away stuff. Yeah. That's how, that's what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Don't think you're just going to jump in here and just be like, oh, I'm going to just spend 600 I'm going to flip that and make 12 mm-hmm. If you do, cool. Yeah. But I didn't. So I'm just telling you the other side, uh, you're going to take a loss your first year. Mm-hmm. Second year, hell, maybe your third, but it, it all depends on your grind, your hustle. You got to be out there. You can't be worried about what people say. Uh, and also learning from your mistakes. Man, what? Yeah, yeah but uh, it, it, and then like, just, and then, yeah, just like you said, mistakes. It's, it's just lessons. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really important to have all this stuff in place. So uh, it's real simple, man. Just hey, uh, reach out to me. I don't know a lot, but I can tell you uh, where to, to go. Me. Yeah, yeah just just do it. Get your business account. And uh, if if you got two thousand dollars. You, you find you a manufacturer, you want to say, okay, I'm going to spend $600 with you. But some of them have limits, you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, minimums. I got 30, 30 piece minimum on this piece. Mm-hmm. And it all depends on what what you want. It can be snaps, socks. Uh, I, I just seen boxers now. I'm like, man, these guys, you change the whole fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Niggas doing boxers, <laughs> ain't, <Right>. ain't. <laughs> You know, yeah, but it's just, you know, um, <laughs> They took that out of schools, man. Uh, far as like financial stuff, mm-hmm. <clears throat> got the uh, basketball and football coach teaching this shit. Right. So. so and they, you know, you don't what? Yeah, these niggas don't know nothing. They telling you the right uh, definition, right. <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, you just got to do your research, man. And uh, that's what I did. Uh, I'm I'm taking baby steps. I know people probably like, man, like when you stuff coming out. And I say, man, give me give me some time. That's why I'm saying that. So I can have everything in order. Uh, this huge order I just placed, man, I shot down the wind broke. Mm-hmm. That's why I had to check in with the wife. She was like, 
I yeah. You know, shout out to Mr. Hooper. You know, that's the guy I um, rent my house from. He helped me out a whole lot. You know, keep believing me, just like she do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we gonna see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She, hey, I, I love it, man. That's right. what that's what America about, man. Taking risks. Right. <laughs> and you just gotta have the right people, man. If people don't believe in you, and bro, bye. Yeah. So I saw your merch. I saw your merch on uh, Kwame Brown's. Uh, oh yeah. What was he? Did he go like <laughs> IG live or? Oh, he was on this. Um, he was on YouTube live. YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was Everybody, on YouTube. Yeah, man. Uh, if you, you know, Kwame <laughs> Brown has his antics, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's my guy, man. He uh, uh, I, I started watching him recently when he, you know, went on the rant <laughs> talking about uh, yeah, uh, Jordan. He went on the rant talking about Jordan. Yeah, I don't know. I think Matt Barnes and Stephen. Yeah, came yeah, 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 yeah. He finally came back on. He he's a real positive guy, man. He, he his content is good. I watch him every now and then, and uh, he had a segment where small business owners can send their send their merch to his PO box. I'm like, man, that's dope. Like, yeah. So I sent it to him last year, uh, around July, August, and. Uh, Every so often he'll do it because, you know, he's running around, businessman, you know, talking, mm-hmm. you know, just responding to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so. yeah, he a wild nigga. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he uh, finally um, got around to it. And I was just sitting in bed when they watched it. It was January 2nd. It's crazy. It was the new year. Yeah. Oh, and, what, uh, of 20, 2022? 20, 20, yeah, 2022. Yeah. Oh, this year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was exactly January 2nd. I was watching them. And uh, shout out to him, man. He. Does that? He just sent him stuff and then he opened it. That nigga had forgot what a cassette tape was. Yeah, <laughs> I mean most of us have. You yeah. know, so I was kind of. I would always remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of glad that I sent it to him. Like I ain't no old guy. Like I'm 33. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So uh, you know, I didn't, shit. I came up around that era. Uh, disc. Yeah. CDs. We, yeah, we came up. We I think we initially was in the tape era, yeah. and then. We got to CDs, but really CDs was like high as shit. Right. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what was what was the store name? Oh no. You. I mean, you had Camelot. You had Bebop. Bebop. What, what, what was the one that was in the uh, mall? That was uh shit. Damn. Got though. Well, you know, it became Fye, but it. Fye. Yeah. But yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. initially Fye. Oh, right, I right. think it was like <laughs> I think it was Camelot. Honestly, but you know. We was running up in the trying to get them CDs, but yeah, that was our era, man. And like I said, it's just music. Yeah, going back to music, I was listening to that man. It just came back. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, hey, shout out to him though, man. He opened it up. I'm like, oh, and no, that's I had some business cards at first. And I didn't really have all my information. I just put them out. That was before I had my website. And uh, I'm getting some made right now. Uh, some uh, newer ones, updated ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. He showed it. You know, he put his little twist on. He talked to the. the Cassette tape and everything, yeah. but uh, yeah, he uh, that was like pretty dope, man. That's what sparked me some more. I was like, oh shit, let me get up, man. Yeah, let me let me let me let me focus in on this and uh, just block out everything else. Don't worry about what everybody else doing. And I yeah. just got focused, man. I just took that order that I put in, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go detail from the from the the the, the rivets on the. Mm-hmm. So just, just detail the tags on the inside. Yeah, my bad. You know, you just go with it from there because it's just quality. People yeah. like quality. Yeah, people like quality because because you can tell that somebody took their time to make right, it. Right. So yeah, that's that's dope, man. So to so to kind of round this interview off, man, give me give me a summary of what Man You Strong stands for. Like, what does it mean to you, and what what should we expect? He represented my dad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, my first name, last name was Adams a long time ago. Mm. You know, yeah, and I uh, got older. You know, I changed my last name to Strong. It's just my dad, man, he would get up every day, uh, go to work, call on work, and walk to work. Wow. Walk, you know what I'm saying? Walk from West Jackson to Cisco. I don't know if you know where Cisco is over there off the off of, off of 20. I think I I'm, I'm picturing it, but I don't know yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, I don't know if this. I don't know what interstate they did. I ain't been in Jackson so long. Yeah, go off of my house there, 
and back. And uh, I always envision him coming down uh, Columbus. Yeah. With a yellow rain jacket on, <laughs> pouring rain, but he was he was at work. Mm-hmm. He didn't make no excuses or nothing. Yeah. Walking down the street, walking back home, man, and it's just that 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 uh, representation of strong. Yeah. So that what sparked me, and that was you know what I'm saying. That's what I want my kids to see. I want to you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to get, not be at work so much, but you know what I'm saying. You gotta you gotta balance that time. Uh, being at work and then coming home, being a dad, and then if you got a second job, you know, balance that too. And um, yeah, that's what it means, man. Yeah. I, I I lost in my senior year in high school. You know, I didn't even finish high school. Mm. I ended up leaving and um, started working at Champ. That's where everybody probably know me from, Champ Sports. Yeah, North I Park. remember you definitely. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's you know, went back and finished, but um. Yeah, man, I just I miss a lot of days taking care of him, and when he passed, it's just you know my family too. Mm-hmm. That's they see him and me, me and him. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Strong man. If anybody out there just got some uh, anything going on, whenever you walk into work, leave it outside. You know, what I'm saying if you gonna feel like getting up in the morning, get up. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't feel like doing something, do it. Somebody talking something to you, you know what I'm saying? Take time to listen. Real. It's just that strong mentality. Just like, you know, just anything. Just take it. Don't be the first to jump. Just listen. And then try to like reevaluate it. And, you know, I ain't the positive. I'm not speaking, you know what I'm saying? Speaking this positive. positive yeah, you ain't no preacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just some, some, some point in your life, you just, it's just something that just hits you. Yeah. No, yeah, I've been hit. Yeah, and I just want everybody to know, man. Just that's what man you strong represents. So I'm gonna be around forever. Yeah, that's real, dog. That's when my kids, they gonna be around forever. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, cause <laughs> cause you know when you creating some, just like me creating this podcast, mm-hmm. you you get this level of immortality in some form or fashion because. Mm-hmm. If we was to leave today, you still have merch here. I still have my voice here and the video here. And, you know, people could still tap in and kind of get a little bit of the essence of what we was, you know, so. Yeah, like, we different. Mm-hmm. Like, you different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I know people see, I be, I be seeing you be fresh as hell. <laughs> I was like, damn, nigga, nigga, but be fresh as hell. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, not on, on, only that, but just dope. Mm-hmm. Bro, be different. Yeah. Be different. Walk in there with one shoe on, one shoe off. Just <laughs> different. Just do something different, bro. Just stand out from the crowd. Don't try to blend in because, you know, that's what people try to emulate. And, you know, so just like be different. That's right. It. That's a message. So, yeah, man, it was great having you on the podcast, dog, man. You definitely, you definitely dropped some knowledge on how to start a business, being different, be yourself. And keep driving, man. Keep getting up. And uh, shout out to you, man. I'm, I'm wishing, I'm wishing you. I'm praying. I'm, I'm wishing you good luck. I'm praying for you so that you had good luck on your first drop. Man, you strong. Shout out to him. Follow him on Instagram on Man, you strong. And also be looking out for that merch drop. Follow Verbal Intercourse Jackson on Instagram and on YouTube, and I, and download and stream and listen on all the podcasts and streaming pl- platforms. And, yo, we out, man. Stay safe. Peace out. Yes, sir. That's dope.